The day of the Muslim ban, there were so many emotions that I was feeling. President Trump is defending a temporary travel ban for seven Muslim majority countries. I thought about my family, who's had seven Marines that served in Iraq and Afghanistan, the New York Police Department, how this was a betrayal to their service to this nation, a Muslim ban that basically said, you are not welcomed here because you are Yemeni. I consider myself one of those people who's been put on the face of the earth to be a change agent. No hate, no fear. Our country was built on the backs of immigrants. The day of the Muslim ban, I organized an emergency meeting with the Yemeni American community. They were so outraged. When Yemeni Americans migrated to New York, they landed at Brooklyn Borough Hall. Many of them then went off to open up stores, which are now called bodegas. There are between four to 6,000 bodegas across New York City owned by Yemeni Americans. They never, ever were interested in challenging government, but the Muslim ban woke them up. They felt that they needed to take a stand. And so Zaid, a fellow Yemeni American, said, why don't we do a strike? Close about 200 stores. I said, okay, so when do you guys want to do this? And he said, Thursday. I was like, what? We have four days. My media head starts thinking about this, and I'm like, if you really want to send a strong message, you close a thousand stores and we hold a rally. I called up the borough president, Eric Adams. Eric, I need your help. It has to be Brooklyn Borough Hall. He's like, okay, that's cutting it really close. And I was like, what's going on that day? They're like, we have the Chinese New Year event happening that night. I call back Zaid and he said, Brooklyn Borough Hall? And I was like, yes. He's like, wow, that's, that's really big. We made over a thousand posters and we distributed it to the stores. The store owners pasted it on their windows. We're closing from 12 to 8 p.m. They were literally delivering posters as late as Thursday, 3 a.m. We were talking about who was going to MC, and they're like, you're gonna MC. What do you mean who's gonna MC? You're MCing this. I was like, oh my God. The day of the rally, it is freezing cold in the plaza. At 12 o'clock, the store is shut down. Yemeni owners of bodegas across the city closing up shop at 12 noon. There were two bodegas, they never closed their doors, never. When they went to lock the doors, the lock fell apart. 12.30, I get a call. Debbie, what time did you tell people to come? And I said, 4.30. He's like, Debbie, we have 50 people outside. The numbers just kept growing. At 1.30, Stefan calls me again. There are 500 people outside. People are hanging off the fringe of the flags. Oh, oh, I finally make my way there at three o'clock and all I see is a sea of people. I was like, oh my God, how did this happen? Did we really do this? Close to 6,000 people, young, old, American flags swinging everywhere. This is Badahol, Badahol for the Yemenis. You should be absolutely proud. We were covered by the New York Times, by Slate, LA Times, every media outlet covered us. My eyes swelled with tears and I felt so much pride to see my community actually take a political stand. You are powerful. We took that energy and formed the Yemeni American Merchants Association to make sure they have a voice and a place at the table and to say, this sleeping giant is no longer sleeping.